Welcome back to the Squadcast. We, I, can I just sing a theme? Let's just do that. Yeah, let's do it. Oh, are we creating one? We're going to do an acapella. That'd be horrible. Everyone's ears are just bleeding. <laughs> I'm not going to do that to you guys. Uh, but what we will do is discuss more gaming news. Remember, if you want to join in on the conversation, do it right here in chat. Or add us at Squad State on Twitter, Instagram, all that loveliness. All right, let's get into some Marvel Adventures news. Because why not? <laughs> oh, man. Um, <laughs> you know, remember when we were talking about how, like, it's okay, Crystal Dynamics is just kind of staying out of the limelight. They're just doing their thing. They're being a little quiet. And then when they figure it out, they'll figure it out, right? Yeah. But like huh. only yesterday we were saying that. Uh huh. Uh, <laughs> so pretty recently, uh, as of March third, so within this week, there was a blog post put up for Marvel's Avengers by Crystal Dynamics, and they were detailing some uh, quality of life in quotations uh, changes that were coming to the game, specifically in the XP being reworked. And I'm just I'm just going to read out essentially what they mention here to be the XP rework. And then mm -hmm. I'll give you guys my thoughts on it because this is honestly a terrible, 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 awful idea. Um, so as mentioned here, XP rework. Since we launched last September, our balance team has been re or has been evaluating the XP curve for leveling from one to 50. And we've been making some changes to address two core issues. The current XP curve isn't really a curve at all. In most RPGs, the amount of XP you need to level up increases as you gain levels in a curve. But our system is a straight line. This has led to pacing issues such as skill points or skill points currently being rewarded too fast, which may be confusing and overwhelming to newer players. We want each decision to invest in a new skill or heroic to be more meaningful. Based on these issues, we'll be increasing the amount of XP needed to level up starting from around level 25. This amount will increase the closer you get to 50 so that it will make it longer to reach higher levels and will only affect character level, not power level. If you already have a level 50 character, which is the current maximum, this won't affect you. If you have a character who isn't level 50 and want to speed up their progress, take this time to do so before the update on March 18th. This is unbelievable. I cannot believe it. it came to the point where the entire community was like, what are you thinking? And they had to try and clarify in a Reddit post, mm -hmm. which really didn't do anything. There are a laundry. There's a laundry list of problems with Marvel's why, Avengers. Why, why didn't you just make the game harder for people to get into um, when you have no one playing the game? I that mean, that's uh, that's what easy. that's at the core of the issue here is is like this there is already a lot of people who have checked out from Marvel's Avengers and people who at this point need some serious convincing to come mm -hmm. back. And to do this to ba to basically say, "Hey, we know that there are bugs. We know that our combat system needs some work." We know that there are a ton of quality of life fixes that the community has been asking for, but instead we're just going to make it more difficult for you to level up. Like I understand it's supposed to be like an RPG and that is a big element to RPGs is making it difficult. And you know, the idea that, yeah, you want to earn those skill points and know where you're allocating them so that you're sure. not just doing it willy nilly. Um, but at the end of the day, like that hasn't been like for me, I don't really care too much about where I'm putting the skill points. And maybe that is the problem, but that shouldn't be on the priority list right now for Marvel's Avengers. That should be something that is brought in a little later down the line when people are complaining a little too much about the fact that there isn't enough of a grind. Because yeah. right now everyone's like, they want the good gear. They want the exotic gear. They can't really get it as easily. Not that it should be easy, but like, it's pretty friggin' difficult. Well, <laughs> and so... This just this is just this it, is a bad it's idea. Weird. So, uh, Caboose, Steve, myself, Malik, have you played Marvel's Avengers yet? No, because I I watched a lot of streams and <laughs> it didn't seem like I. <laughs> okay. Is right. this convincing right. you to play? <laughs> well, yeah. I don't, I don't know about you guys, but when I was playing through, I did find other after the story, I found leveling up characters. It was boring. Like it just took a while. It seemed like it was taking a while for me already um, to do that. Like, mm -hmm. and maybe it was just because I, I, the game just <laughs> great. Um, <laughs> <laughs> 
Right. But like now this is just like such a turnoff for me. Like I don't even want to play any of the DLCs that come out uh, because of this. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, I, I think this is a terrible, awful decision um, for the small community or even the potentially growing community because they're putting this out when they're putting out Hawkeye and the next generation console, you know, implying that they're hopefully going to bring in more people who are going to invest in the next generation version. Um, and going back to your point, Caboose, of talking about how they want this to be a, an RPG and, you know, allocating the the points to make it feel like something which is great in an rpg where you're creating your own character you want it to be a meaningful yep. experience seeing them progress not when you're jumping between six heroes seven heroes yep. the I fact that well, have... the the first tree like a lot of people have mentioned this this is a big quality of life fix that i, I hope or and i wonder if that'll it'll come in down the line the mm -hmm. first skill tree like the first tab yeah, those are just abilities. Like those right. are what should be the base move set of the character, right. and you have to level up to unlock them. Now that's gonna be difficult. Yeah, you know, to get the base move it's set of the yeah. character that you're playing as, and to get all the new stuff that they have in their arsenal, you're gonna have to level up your character enough to unlock those skills. And now that's going to become a more difficult, more grindy process. It's so lame. It's that's so not. Lame. This is the opposite of fun. I hope they have, they have 10 days where they plan to release this update. They have 10 days to listen to the community's outcry here and realize that this is not what people want, at least not right now. I understand the intention. I understand the reasoning behind it, but this is not going to work. This is just going to drive even the most hardcore of players who still want to play Avengers to this day away from the game. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And it sounds like they... Sorry, go ahead. I was just going to say, and turning our attention to the, like the Reddit post, they they clarify and say that you know with the changes now, it's going to take upwards to between three to five hours to uh, additional three to five hours to reach maximum level in total. That's an additional three to five levels per hero to play the same amount of content we've had since day one. There's no new villain sector. There's no new. Yep. There's cloning lab there's no new just uh war zone missions to take on there's no new content so what's the incentive to say okay i want to spend an additional 20 plus hours now to level up my heroes there is none yeah yeah like yeah. And none. I'm, oh my god this is so oh my god this is so bad like think of for those new players that are like okay i heard that you know avengers was kind of rocky but this new hawkeye dlc it, seems really promising a lot of people are talking about it i want to hop in all right let me play as hawkeye that's like saying i can't even put the arrow in the bow to <laughs> shoot the bow yeah that's not hawkeye it's like i can't throw thor's hand milnor molnir why do i say milnor jonathan molnir. jonathan <laughs> jonathan um you know to be thor right so uh <laughs> I yeah. love that meme. <laughs> that's the that's the hard part is that is the reason why i didn't pick it up is i don't want to grind to feel like a superhero in a superhero game <laughs> and it, it doesn't make sense camille is dying over there <laughs> so good this that's one okay. of the reasons why i love paul rudd Jonathan. <laughs> um, anyway sorry Malik, go ahead no you're good it's just it's one of those things where it's like i look at destiny and within the first mission you have all your abilities mm -hmm. i can't imagine if in destiny they dragged it out so that way you had to unlock your jump uh, five hours in you unlock your grenade five hours five more hours in you unlock your melee five more hours in. you get your ultimate five more hours in. like that does not sound fun like people especially too they need to understand that there is a younger generation that's going to be picking up this game simply just so that way the kids can feel like superheroes. Why are you going to make this younger? I mean, I get it, right? Games have a certain level of grind to them. But mm -hmm. when you have a game that's suffering, you can't increase the grind. You need to make it more, more accessible. Not, yeah, not go backwards. So I, I really don't know what's going on with this game. It had a lot of potential, but now it just feels like it's dying as before our very eyes. 
I want to I want to read a comment from from on, on the Reddit post where they were trying to clarify this, and mm -hmm. and it's oh, a no. comment that I that I like I understand and that I'm reasoning with here, and 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 it actually is pretty much what everyone who's still playing this game is thinking, and it comes from like this user Axel Chrono. He says this doesn't make sense at all. The reason people were calling the game a brain dead button masher at first was because the depth of the combat is locked to the very late stages of each character's skill trees. And after the campaign, you were at like level five to 10 with each character. Why make it take longer to get to that depth? There's more that he's saying here, but that's the exact thing that I was trying to explain is that nobody was complaining that it was too easy to level up. People were <laughs> complaining that they had to level up to unlock the potential of these characters. Like you look at the, a character like Kate Bishop and when you get through her first tab of skill trees and you unlock all the crazy different abilities that she has, and she has like smoke arrows, different teleportation options. You start to realize that it's a pretty fleshed out character and can be a lot of fun to play as, but there's so much you have to do to get there. Now that process is pretty much going to be doubled in terms of length to get to that point with someone like Hawkeye or if Spider-Man drops down the line or we get a character like Black Panther or so on and so forth. It's just going to be more of a process to unlock the full potential of those characters. And nobody wants that. So nobody wants ask, that. Let me ask, would this be as much of a problem as it is if they had added the content that they promised or even more content in general? No, I don't you think know so. why? Because right now what Avengers is doing is they are focusing on these, we talked about it a couple of weeks ago last week. I can't, all of our conversations are just mingling up in my head. <laughs> uh, but uh, they're, they're, they're focusing on the characters to drive the reason to play this game. When you have to have a good game in order to get people to stick with the game and play. I so they're think... coming out with these DLCs, you know, eventually, you know, Spider-Man, uh, Hawkeye, all these things that you're going to want to play as these characters. Yeah. If they had a good game to play through, like good environments to play through, great missions that you could return yep. to and yep. go back to. Mm -hmm. I don't think anyone would care how long it would take to level up Spider-Man because they would want to play. Right. The I, I, they will want to continue playing. I can sort of agree, but also disagree. Part of me agrees because like, yes, if they had better environments, if they had more enemy uh, variety and stuff like that, if there was just something prettier to look at when you were playing, um, then yeah, there would be a little more of like an incentive for me to want to go back in and play. But again, going back to that comment from the Reddit post, the, this this user mentions everyone's biggest complaint about Avengers was, it, was that it was button mashy. It was too much of like you just press one button and face off against all the enemies. And because when you go through the campaign and your characters are barely leveled and have like no skills, that is kind of what it is. Yeah, It's just a bit of a button mash until you get to the end of the story. Um, then you start to see kind of the depth and the potential of each character on the roster when you start to actually create a build for them. Exactly. Again, though, the problem is just that first skill tree. If the level was capped, if it was brought back to 25, per se, something like that, right? Like let's, let's say level cap was brought down to 25, and you couldn't unlock every single thing in each skill tree, and they got rid of the first tab and just let that be all abilities you have unlocked from the get-go, then you'll start to think a little more about where you're going to put your skill points, what kind of build you want to create, implement a system where you can do like a re-roll get your skill points back and you can allocate them differently if you wanted to create a new build something similar to borderlands borderlands yeah. is a lot of fun because i can't max out every skill tree for my character mm -hmm. i have to pick and choose where i want my skill points to go your decisions matter you know? exactly uh, yeah. and it's a lot of fun like that I, therein lies the exact problem with the whole character level system is the fact yeah. that if they want it to be an RPG, you should not be able to acquire every single ability. Uh, for instance, yep. I love playing as Iron Man and going through the entire campaign and just grinding until level 50, a lot of people were saying, you know, Iron Man's just not that fun to play, but it's until you get to level 50, then you can, like you said, Caboose, decide, okay, do I want to ha have like a glass tank build for Iron Man or a defensive heavy... It's, yeah. That's only because you have all the skills unlocked. That way yeah. you can create your build. 
my Iron Man can be different to yours or yours, Camille. But then you have to kind of lean into that if you're Crystal Dynamics and say, okay, we're okay with you having all the, the skills there so you can have fun and experiment with that. Or when they were designing the game, they should have made the conscious decision, we're not going to let you have all the skills. You got to create your, your own Iron Man on the fly as you go. And then, like you said, you, you have the ability to reroll if you didn't like it or something like that. And you can't and have this it. How, and this is how the gameplay loop is created. It's a thousand yeah. credits to reroll. You yeah. got to get the credits by playing through missions. People will go. play through those missions if it means that they can reroll and create a new build. That's like, it is just RPG games 101. You know what I mean? Well, and and that's the most frustrating thing they keep using this excuse most rpg games are we're trying to be an rpg so like mm -hmm. okay let's be real this game is trying to be an rpg but i don't think any games in this genre how it rolls out are truly rpgs they're like a hybrid yeah. okay so you have to look at the game development as a hybrid you don't fans are flocking to this game for rpg experience mm -hmm. <laughs> Said I mean, that I think that's I, something to turn fans away because, especially for the fan base of Marvel's Avengers, they're not used to playing RPGs. Sure, it's yeah, like, and it's this weird it, games like Destiny and like Marvel Avengers occupy this weird space between RPGs and MMORPGs, right? Because they're not mass, they're not really like massive multiplayer online but they have that kind of that skill tree in the building that you get with most mmos and you get that with some rpgs but why would you intentionally make your game feel boring and bland on first arrival and i don't think people would have a problem replaying the story time after time after time if it meant that they were going to be able to experiment i don't yep. want to play the whole story just to get all my abilities and then replay the whole story again with a new build by then i'm going to be burnt out and not to mention when you have a huge roster of characters that you want people to experiment with you are just making it harder for people to enjoy your game yeah i mean it's also funny you can't just you can't even play the campaign over again <laughs> wait That's you can't oh no, it's just the missions that you're playing. That they are playing. they are working on like a like a new game plus type Great, deal. Yeah. Um, but once you're done the campaign, you're just doing like the uh, the multiplayer. Yes, right. right right now. Yes. Yeah. yeah. There's no yeah. way to replay. The is there is there like a free room option at all in Marvels right now? Uh, kind of. There are like hub it's, areas that you yeah. can like do whatever. The question in. you're asking if it's in Marvels Avengers, the answer will be like. Kind of? Yeah, They're that's kind of actually. Coming. You're right. <laughs> real, honestly, it's like wow. everything that seems like it should be there from the get go, or stuff that almost would seem obvious for a big like Marvel RPG, you know, sort of game. Yeah. It's always the the answer always is like, well, they said they're working on that, or like, oh, well, it's coming in the next update. You know, like it's that's, um it's tough it's it's really really tough that it's uh, such a comedic marketing snake yeah. oil like eh, is it an rpg kind of mm. <laughs> like, i want you to take yeah. this in. in september when the game launched they accidentally pushed the raid into the game yeah look it okay. out they don't have a raid <laughs> yep the so, uh the, the, and and that's not even supposed to be the full raid that's supposed yeah. to be like just like the halfway point almost raid, you know? Yeah. Content creators were able to get into the cloning wow. lab. Yep. And then they took it out. Mm. Yep. That's, 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 that's the level we're at where it's like, and they're working on weird. stuff. You don't know what they, it is. They, they were supposed to drop that with Kate Bishop's DLC. Yeah. The cloning lab was supposed to drop with Kate Bishop's DLC in December. It's March and they still don't even have an idea to give us like a release window when that piece of content is going to drop for the game because it's not dropping with Hawkeye's DLC. No. So no one, and now whenever that content does drop, it's meant to be tailored to the Kate Bishop DLC. So it'll be it's, like, it'll be almost like they're going backwards with some of the things that they're doing here. And I, 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 I feel bad. I don't want to knock this game so bad because I've spoken to some of the people that work in the game. I know that there is passion there. Sure. And I know that they're not like intentionally trying to screw people over or trying to like make poor decisions, you know? Um, right. It's just, 
maybe there isn't enough people working at Crystal Dynamics who have eyes on the community and are thinking of exactly no, what it no. is that they want, you know? I think and they're I think, well, ignoring the community. Come I, on, you're I just, not I just hold dynamics on a Marvel IP and not know what the community is thinking. That's yeah. like you have gamers and Marvel fans. We're the most vocal, you know. <laughs> but I mean, like we're letting true. everybody. Know. That's true. That's true. I, think what I, it I is, just hope that with that, with enough of this outcry, ten days to go until this update's supposed to go live, that they just say, okay, you know what, we're scrapping this, and we'll, we'll think of smart. something else. That they would got be smart. you. But I feel yeah. like what's happening here is when Marvel's Avengers lost. Uh, sorry, launched words today launched um you wouldn't be they, wrong with what you said before <laughs> i know when they lost when they launched um <laughs> they really that was supposed to be the product that they actually presented to people and said this is the game isn't it great yeah um and then the fans were like no it isn't great um mm -hmm. and from there i think what happened is now they're trying to pick up the pieces but they have lack of direction of where to go yeah Right. It, um, and that needs to come from, you know, upper management, uh, the stakeholders, people that like, because that's the thing, too. They're trying to please the, the stakeholders. Right. right? Um, to make sure that this game eventually becomes successful. Um, plus, they want to just make a good game. Like you mentioned, there's passionate devs there, but it all has to kind of align. So for me, this is why it's even more, you know, frightful for the future of what Marvel's Avengers will be because we're like in we're going into well we're in March we're going into April this game mm. has been out for quite some time and they still are very all over the place on what <laughs> they need to do exactly mm. yeah. when you what you just described to me right now what immediately popped up in my head is when your cat brings you a dead bird and you're just like oh <laughs> I'm happy I'm a part of the uh, pack. Get that thing <laughs> out of here. <laughs> and it's kind of crazy, like hearing you guys talk about this. And when I kind of, I mean, I know it's not super comparable, but when you do compare it to something like Ghost of Tsushima Legends, that was a. It came out two months, I think, after um, the Avengers did. And it seems like that had more content than Avengers does right now, besides from the characters. I mean, they had missions that you could replay. They had a raid that was complete. What what can they do at this point to fix Avengers? Like, what is going to save this game? It's well, just more. That's of the million have. dollar question. It, in my opinion, it's just more of what they have because you're talking about like the content. There's a lot of content in Marvel's uh, Marvel's Avengers, but it's just the fact that it's been eight months, so everyone's played it to death. They have the yeah. deepest. Uh, when you look at Marvel as an IP, you have one of the deepest pools to pull from, and, and they're falling yeah. flat. And yeah, they have and villains that they can pull from, but who do we have? We have Taskmaster and Abomination. <laughs> That's who you get to face off at. In, there in, isn't even a villain sector for like the final boss, which is like the coolest boss battle in the right. game, where there's because yeah. you actually do something in it. Um, <laughs> but like there, there isn't even like an ability to fight Modok again, like the guy who's supposed to be the main villain of the game. Yeah, it's um, uh, I, I don't know. I, I I hate being this negative about something because it's okay. it, like I love. Like I've met people on the dev team. I think that they're great people. I'm sure they're they're very passionate people. And again, no one goes out like no one's set out to make a bad game. You right, know, like right. that's never ever ever the intention ever. But they've made some serious mistakes. And yeah, that's the yeah. frustrating part is that there's I really like the gameplay as as a whole. I think there's a lot of potential in this game, but it's just hard to see a developer like fumble so many times. And you're mm. still rooting for them. Mm -hmm. But it is it is hard when they make decisions like this that just go against the community. Yeah, yeah. and yep. you know, I, I in chat, Axtro said that they were planning on checking out the game. I'm not aware that it's it's not it's not doing well. Yeah. <laughs> um, no. So I wonder, you know, just for our last discussion on this before we move on, mm -hmm. are we just looking at this solely based because we're in the game, working in the gaming industry? Right, like if you're looking at a consumer who's heard of Marvel's Avengers, mm -hmm. do you think if they were to hop in with these changes, it would really affect them? No, I don't. I, I, I think it's harder for us 
because a we're looking at it so in-depthly and two because we've been playing it since day one or yeah to that so that the changes will will affect us even more because we're we're used to the old stuff right and now yeah. we're seeing this new stuff but if you're playing if you're buying a day one i don't think that you'll be that affected by the change but at the same time like just know it's not as good as what we had <laughs> yeah. But mm-hmm. Do you think gamers are going to have the attention span for it, though, to really grind through something like that that doesn't even feel good? Maybe for one hero. Oh, for for, for one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's but that's the tough thing is they want this to be this this yeah. game where it's like, oh my god, look at the roster, look how many different characters you can choose from. They have all these different abilities, and it's true. When you level, if I had every single character, and even someone like me who's played a lot of Marvel's Avengers, who like kind of was into it at one point. I don't even have every character on the roster at level 50. Same. Even now when it, with it being easier, according yeah. to crystal dynamics, I don't have every character maxed out to level 50. Um, and so now when you're look when you come into this game and it's like, look at this massive roster, let's say you were somebody who gets the game two years from now and they got all the characters they have right now. Plus like black Panther, Spider-Man, you know, maybe captain Marvel, like all these other characters that are rumored to show up and you want to jump in and try out everybody and see what they all have to offer. But all you can really do with every character from the start is like punch and kick. You know, <laughs> it's you, you, like, how do you even know what character you want to invest your time into besides the fact that maybe it'll be your favorite Marvel hero? You know, uh, every character is just Batman for a while. <laughs> yeah, for a little bit. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're just Batman for a really the long only, time. The only couple of differences is like, okay, maybe you, you can fly around as Iron Man or Thor. You know, you have some some fun there with Thor from the from the start. With the ability to toss the hammer. Captain America has the shield, right? But like when you really get to the nitty gritty, there isn't a lot there until you start to level up these characters. So it's hard to gauge as somebody who will go in without any knowledge yeah. to know which character they want to invest their time into you yeah, know and it's going to be interesting for new players and to see how the development of marvel's avengers kind of works out to kind of get new uh, players to jump on board with it or to kind of reinvigorate the excitement with fans um or of marvel or people who have already played it uh, but we'll have to continue watching. I want to move on because we just have a little bit of time left. And we're yeah, going to be sorry. talking about... <laughs> no, this, that's a good one. I feel like we're going to be talking about Marvel's Avengers for some time, unfortunately. Yeah.